breaking down barriers while shooting arrows and changing the face of the sport. Today, we are catching up with the founder of Wild Captives, the first women-owned archery studio in the country, and it is right here in Brooklyn. First of all, let me just say congratulations, not just on the space, but being the first women-owned archery studio in the U.S. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Can we talk a little bit about the history of archery? Yeah, archery is the first sport to let women participate in the Olympics. Really? Yeah. But for some reason, in the U.S. especially, the sport has kind of been marketed towards hunters. So a lot of the women have been cut out of the narrative unless they're shooting animals. I mean, the goal with the whole company of Wild Captives is that people feel like their most empowered self. We want everyone to feel like a superhero for a second. How does one go from an urban planner and a marketer to the owner of an archery studio and also a TikTok star? I've always done content, videos, photos for other companies, but over the pandemic, I started to do it for the first time ever, kind of putting myself in front of the camera, and a lot of my videos just went super viral and a lot of women, queer people were all asking for recommendations of bows and bow kits. So I saw a gap in the market and I did a bunch of research. We made a whole bow kit, designed it, and it's amazing. Is this the kit? This is. It comes with also a target and arrow rest and things, but these are the main parts of the kit. It's a light, easy to use bow and it comes with everything you need to just get started in your backyard on a bale of hay. Let's talk about the lessons. How does that work? Somebody signs up, they come here, and then what? It's three rounds of like free shooting with one-on-one -on -one instruction. And then people do a contest or a game with their group. And then there's a prize at the end, and then that's it. It's an hour long of archery fun. Basic form is you want your feet shoulder width apart. Okay. Knees kind of loosely bent. And then you're gonna be making a T with your body. So your left arm, this is if you're ready, your left arm's gonna be totally straight, then you're gonna pull across to about your cheek, and then once it kinda hits your cheek, that's called your anchor point, you would just let go. What? <laughs> what? what? I knew it was gonna get it. <laughs> so I get it, I fully get it. So what days are you open to the public for classes? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we'll be expanding too as, as we grow. Congratulations. Thank Should we shoot you. some more? Yeah. yeah.